So please look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Let's get this one done. So we're giving yet another second order differential equation for the squared x over the t squared minus 4 dx dt plus x equal to 0. Now, this is no longer the y dx. It's now dx dt. And let's see something. We said when you have it in terms of y and x, what do you do? You put y as what there? Exponential what there? mx. This is if you're having something of nature, d squared y over dx squared. You put this. What if you now have d squared x over dt squared? How do you solve this? You put y. Yeah, because what there? x as what there? Exponential m of what there? t. No longer x. So this is what we're doing. All right. So put uh, put x as exponential mt. All right, let's get x prime. So x prime is equal to x prime now. is same as what there? Dx dt. How do you solve this? How do you differentiate this? We said simple. Differentiate mt with respect to t to give you what there? m. So it becomes m times this equation there. Exponential mt. This is the same thing as what there? Dx dt. That's x prime. Let's get x prime prime. x prime prime is equal to this is the same thing as the squared x over the t squared. To get this value here, simply differentiate mt with respect to t to give you m. Use m to multiply this. So m times m gives you m squared exponential mt. This will always be your answer. Always be your answer. At this point, our next task is to substitute. So, substituting. Let's substitute this value. I'll put the value of x into this. x prime, which is same as dx dt, into this. And then x prime prime, which is same as the squared x over the t squared, into this. So, let's go. Start with 4 first. So, 4 into this is x prime prime that's m squared exponential mt minus 4 minus 4 into dx t that's x prime which is what m exponential mt plus x plus exponential mt is equal to zero so plus x equal to zero all right let's expand this bracket expand it. this gives you what there four m squared exponential mt this and this minus four m exponential mt plus this one here exponential mt that's equal to zero next stacked factorize exponential mt so basically take this off take this off take this off what are you left with here you're left with 4m squared so 4m squared minus 4 so minus 4 if i take this off i'm left with what there plus 1 Minus 4m, please. Minus 4m. And then plus 1. This all multiplying what there? Exponential mt has been equal to what there? Zero. So I have this. Again, this now becomes the auxiliary quadratic equation. You pick up this one and you put it to zero. So I now have 4m squared minus... 4m plus 1 it's equal to 0. At this point here, you solve this in what there? A quadratic equation. This is a quadratic equation, of course. So just give me the final answer. You can use the calculator. Solve this um, using any of the quadratic equation method. Solve this. What do you have? What is this? Huh? 1 over 2. What's m2? So now listen. This will be using calculator. Listen. 
If you computer, listen. When you punch this on a calculator, if the roots are real and distinct, when you punch equal to you have x1, which in this case is m1, you have an answer. You punch equal to again, you have what there? x2, your second answer. But if you're punching this and you now punch equal to, you have x equal to 1 over 2. You now punch equal to again. If it does not give an answer, what does that mean? It means this is what there? Repeated. Please take note. So if you use the calculator to punch this, when you punch, when you put in your value, you press equal to, it will give you x equal to 1 over 2. Press equal to again. It will not give you an x2 value. Why is it giving you one x2 value? Why? Because the x value is what there? Repeated. So it means that m2 is also what there? 1 all over 2. So please take note. If you press equal to, you have only, only one answer. It means that answer is what there? Repeated. Please take note. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we have this. Now for equal or coincident roots, let's go back to see what does the linearly independent solution look like. We say the linearly, the linearly, uh, linearly independent solution you have y1 and y2 is it y1 and y2 no it should be y1 and y2 when you're dealing with what there y and x so when you're dealing with your d squared y by the x squared you have y1 and y2 in this case you're dealing with what there x and t so it should be what there x1 and what there x2 all right so x1 x substitute 1 is equal to exponential check it should, give, it should give you exponential m1 x hold on now it should give you what we said before was exponential m1 x but in this case we leave it what there t it becomes m1 t what's m1 t 1 over 2 this m1 add t to it that's all so it becomes exponential m1 this add t because i'm dealing with t now and x2 will be equal to what there check to be what there exponential m2 m2 is 1 over 2 then what again there add t to it so you have this so this becomes the x1 and x2 that's it what will now be the general solution the general solution the general solution of hold on of the equation what's the general solution of the equation what do you have you have in this case x of t because it's x with respect to t so you have x of t will be equal to please check you have c1 so simply c1 attached to the value of x1 what's the value of x1 there exponential 1 over 2t plus what there c2 please check we said when you have equal roots what do you add there x please c2 hold on you add x when it's y and x so now it's now x and t what do you have there t so this into c2 dot t dot the value of x2 exponential 1 over 2 t this becomes the solution to the question. So look at this. All right, so see how I work with this. All right? I gave this condition earlier, if you're here at the beginning. I gave this condition. So C2, T, this. That's your answer, basically. All right? So this is your solution. Let's now see the one that comes with conditions and see what we get, please. Any questions? Because I don't know why. Because I don't know how I got C. She does not know. She came late. She doesn't know. But this is how you solve this, please. All right. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit 
www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the differential equations made easy course. Both links in video description.